Welcome to the Joy of Music. My name is Diane Bish, and I would like to invite you to join us today as we bring you a program in our series, Music and the Bible, featuring great themes of the Bible. Today, bringing you scripture, music, and texts on the theme, The Sovereign God, the Lord God Almighty. Psalm 151 reads, Praise God in His sanctuary. Praise Him in the firmament of His power. Thank you for joining us. In our program today on the theme, The Lord God Almighty, we hear these words from Scripture. Psalm 145, 10 and 11. All thy works shall praise thee, O Lord, and thy saints shall bless thee. They shall speak of the glory of thy kingdom and talk of thy power. The hymn, All Creatures of Our God and King, which reflects this text so well, was written in 1225 by Giovanni Bernadone, better known as Saint Francis of Assisi. The scriptures tell us that God is the Lord of history, of the past, present, and future. Psalm 90 reads, Lord, thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever thou hadst formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. The hymn, O God, Our Help in Ages Past, is believed to be the grandest in the whole realm of English hymnody. It is a paraphrase on the Psalm 90, with words written by Isaac Watts, the father of English hymnody.
The Lord God Almighty is King, our guide, leader, and friend. Based on 2 Timothy 4, henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness. The hymn, Lead On, O King Eternal, was written by Ernest Shortloff in 1887 as a young graduating seminarian. The hymn was written for his commencement. In scripture, we read that the Almighty God rules over men and all happenings upon the earth. Psalm 46, 9 states, He maketh wars to cease unto the end of the earth. God is the God of nations. He reigns over the earth. Even the heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord. A hymn of God's power is the Russian hymn known as God the Omnipotent, declaring that God is omnipotent, all-powerful, and all-merciful, and only He can bring peace to our world.
Perhaps the greatest and most popular of all sacred music ever written on the theme, the sovereign God, the Lord Almighty, is the Hallelujah Chorus from Messiah by George Friedrich Handel. The text is completely taken from scripture in a description of praise to God for who he is. When writing Messiah's Hallelujah Chorus, Handel declared, and I think I did seek all heaven before me and the great God himself. Johann Sebastian Bach was a devout Christian and perhaps the greatest composer for the organ who ever lived. Much of his music was built on the Lutheran chorales of his day. In our program, Music and the Bible on the Lord Almighty, we hear a chorale prelude of Johann Sebastian Bach as he described the words, he who will suffer God to guide him in music. In the inner voices of the chorale, we have the rhythmic figure expressing joy. In the pedal, we hear the motive of faith.
Martin Luther, the great reformer and leader of the Reformation in the 16th century, was a strong believer in congregational singing and the use and power of sacred music. Martin Luther said, music is a gift and grace of God, not an invention of man. It drives out the devil and makes people cheerful. I wish to compose sacred hymns so that the word of God may dwell among the people also by means of song. The single most powerful hymn of the Protestant Reformation was Luther's A Mighty Fortress is Our God, based on Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. The scriptures tell us at the right hand of God there are joys forevermore. Galatians 5.22 reads, But the fruit of the Spirit is love and joy. The hymn Joyful, Joyful is considered to be one of the most joyous expressions of lyrics and music in all hymnody. The words set to music from Beethoven's Ninth Symphony reflect the joy of brotherhood and the joy of living in God's created world.
name is Diane Bish, and I would like to thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music as we have brought you a program in the series, Music and the Bible, featuring great themes of the Bible. Today, we have heard music and words on the theme, The Sovereign God, The Lord God Almighty. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music. like to purchase today's program or any program in our library of over 400 videos and CDs from the great organs and historic churches of the world, please call 1-800-933-4844. We hope to hear from you.